A big question we get is like, what's the difference between Cat6, Cat6A? Why wouldn't you use Cat7 or Cat8? I see those online. The first reason is Cat6 can do 10 gigabits per second over 164 feet. It's cheap to install. It's, it's, it's very standard. That's why we do this for most homes. Cat6A, everybody thinks it's better because it's newer. Really, it just does what Cat6 can do over longer distances. So whereas Cat6 is limited to 164 feet, to 10 gig, Cat 6A can do 10 gig up to 330 feet. When you start talking about Cat 7 and Cat 8, it gets to be in a little bit of the marketing and snake oil kind of area. Cat 7, and you may have heard of Cat 6E, neither of those are official standards. While you may be able to buy one off Amazon, um, and you may be able to find it in some big box stores, and you know they may have a few benefits here and there, but really Cat 6, Cat 6A um, are the official standards of the around the 10 gigabit kind of speed. Cat 8 is an official standard from IEEE. It's the official successor to Cat 6A. The, the sequence would go Cat 6, Cat 6A, Cat 8. But really Cat 8 is limited to 25 gigs over 100 feet. And so if you're thinking, okay, this is 10 gigs over 330 feet, Cat 6A. Cat 8 is 25 gigs, but it's only over 100 feet. And we find that most runs get pretty close to 100 feet. Um, and they're frequently longer than 100 feet, even in residential. Cat 8 can also do 40 gig over 78 feet. That's great for short distances, very short runs. Patch cables, for example, connecting two switches together is great. Cat 8 is starting to get to the point where for very niche applications where you have to have copper or you don't have the infrastructure ready for fiber yet, you start to get where the jump between Cat 6A and Cat 8 is not worth it. You just jump all the way to fiber. And so that's what we usually tell our clients is Cat 6, if, for, for most runs, Cat 6A, if you have a very specific long run that you just need 10 gig. And then once you go past these needs in terms of speed or distance, go fiber. Um, it's, it's getting cheaper. It's sort of where the industry is going. More devices will accept fiber. And so um, that's sort of the big jump from category cable or copper to fiber. In general, the rule of thumb is once you get past Cat 6A, jump to fiber.